Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Calm with Carlin, yoga and meditation for your everyday life. Today we have a quick routine that can be used to open up the body and to get the body going and warmed up for your day or for your yoga practice or whatever other workout you're doing. Um, it's just a really quick sequence that I like to call my everyday yoga sequence. So you don't need any props for this sequence. Like I said, it's gonna be quick um, and we'll get started whenever you're ready. We're gonna meet in a child's pose. With your knees wide in your child's pose, take the hips back towards the heels. And take a moment here to come onto the fingertips, lifting the palms off of the ground along with the elbows and the forearms. And just feeling that opening through the shoulders before letting the palms and the forearms come back down to the ground. And start to walk the right hand towards the top right corner of the mat, taking the left hand on top of the right and anchoring down through that left hip as you feel the lengthening in the left side of the body. And then take that to the other side, bringing the left hand to the top left corner of the mat and the right hand on top of the left. Anchoring down through the right hip as you lengthen the right side of the body. And then coming back through center here in your child's pose. And slowly walking the hands back to the thighs, finding an upright seated position, sitting on the tops of the feet, or maybe you come onto the toes, sitting up on the heels, stretching out the feet a little bit, and take the left, right ear rather, to the, le to the right shoulder as you reach the left fingertips out at a 45 degree angle. Feel the left side of the neck open up really opening up through all parts of the body here and then come back through center take the left ear to the left elbow and then the right hand out at a 45 degree angle feel the right side of the neck open And then slowly come back through center and then start to feel the feet really get a little bit numb here, stretching that out. And then take the hands down to the mat and just tap the tops of the feet onto the ground here, shake it out. And then turn the, to turn the fingers rather to face the outside edges of the mat and just rock side to side, opening through the wrists. And then turn the fingers to face the knees, rocking back and forth, peeling the the heels of the hands up off the ground as you sit, sit the hips back and then rocking forward. One more time here. Awesome, and then turn the fingertips forward one more time. We'll take one exaggerated round of cat-cow, tuck the toes, drop the belly, lift the gaze, Stay here, maybe shake the tail side to side. Really exaggerating that arch in the low back just for another inhale. And then on your exhale, we'll take a really exaggerated cat pose, pressing the ground away from you, tucking the chin to the chest. Beautiful. And then come back to a neutral tabletop position. Walk the hands out slightly in front of the shoulders and lift the hips. Find your first downward facing dog of class. And from your downward facing dog, lift the right leg and top, cross it on top of the left as if you were sitting in a cross-legged seat here and really squeeze the inner thighs together. And then put the right foot down and we'll switch sides. 
Squeeze that left foot, cross it on top of the right leg as if we're sitting in a cross-legged seat. Really squeeze those inner thighs together. <sighs> Beautiful. And then make your way back through to your downward facing dog. And from your downward facing dog, walk the hands back to the feet and find a ragdoll forward fold, bending the knees generously, grabbing onto opposite elbows as you really let go here. If you want to add an opening in the shoulders, interlace the hands behind the back, take the hands up and over the head. One more breath here, and then slowly unwind, let the fingertips fall back down to the ground, and walk yourself back out to your downward facing dog. And from your downward facing dog, step your right foot to the outside of the left foot, bend the left knee generously, and straighten the right heel towards the ground. As you press the chest towards the thigh, feel the shoulder open up, as well as the back of the right leg. And then come back to center and we'll take it to the other side. Step the left foot to the outside of the right. Press the left heel down to the ground and generously bend the right knee, pressing the chest towards the right thigh. Just taking a breath and then coming back to center. Take an inhale from center, lift the right leg up to the sky. And on the exhale, step the right foot in between the hands drop the back knee and come into your low lunge. As you sink into that right knee, cactus the arms, find a baby back bend, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then as you bring the arms forward, take the right arm on top of the left and bring the palms to touch for your eagle arms. Reach the fingertips up to the sky as you press the forearms away from the face. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, fold to the inside of the right leg. As the fingertips reach down to the ground, feel the shoulder blades spread apart from one another. Feel the outer right hip open as the inner right thigh opens, pressing the right shoulder in towards the right knee. And pulling the right hip back as you pull the left hip forward. Take one more full cycle of breath here. Staying for your exhale. And then using your next inhale to come back to center. Keep those eagle arms for just a breath. And then as you unwind, bring the hands down to frame the right foot. Lift up the left knee and step it back just a couple inches to create space as you straighten through the right leg. Making the most out of this hamstring stretch in a short period of time, flex the toes towards the face and really drag that right heel towards the center of the body. It won't actually move, but imagine that your left knee can meet your right heel somewhere in the middle of the two and feel how that lights up that right hamstring. If you feel like you have the space, you might start to turn this into a forward fold, taking the nose towards the shin. One more cycle of breath here. And the next time you inhale, you'll come back to upright, crawling forward, bending into the right knee, planting the hands, and stepping back into your high plank. From your high plank option to drop the knees lower down to the belly, inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take that to the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. Step the left foot in between the hands, drop the back knee, inhale to rise into your low lunge. Cactus the arms as you sink into that left hip, bending into the left knee. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And this time as you bring the arms forward, take the left arm on top of the right, bring the palms to touch, and find your eagle arms with the opposite cross. Take an inhale, forearms press away from the face as the fingertips reach up to the sky. And on your exhale, fold to the inside of the left leg. Pressing the left knee and the left shoulder against one another. Pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward. And reaching the fingertips down to the ground as the shoulder blades spread apart from one another. 
Take one more cycle of breath here. And then when you're ready, use an inhale to come back up. Keep the eagle arms for your inhale. And then slowly start to unwind as you take the hands to frame the left foot. Pick that right knee up, take it back just a couple inches and slowly start to straighten through that left leg. Same thing, we're making the most out of a short stretch here. So really flex the left toes towards the face and imagine that you could pull that left heel all the way in towards the right knee while keeping that straight left leg. As the back of the left leg opens, you might turn this into a forward fold, gently hinging. Feel free to stay upright if you're feeling like you don't have the space in the body. Stay here for your next exhale. And on your inhale, slowly start to crawl forward, bending back into that left knee. Again, stepping back to a high plank. Option to drop the knees or lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And from your downward facing dog, drop the knees and we'll come to a wide-legged seat. Take your time to get there. I'll face the long edge of my mat. And from this wide-legged seat, take your right forearm to your right thigh, or if you have the space, bring the right forearm to the inside of the right leg. Lift the left fingertips up to the sky and take a side body stretch to the right. Instead of crunching down and reaching for that right foot, see if you can imagine you're reaching beyond the right foot, maybe even touching the wall behind that right foot. And as you visualize that, you'll feel the left side of the body lengthen. We're just here for three, for two, on one we come back to center and take it to the other side. So this time the left forearm comes to the left thigh or to the inside of the left leg. Reach the right fingertips up to the sky and then take that side body stretch to the left. Imagine that you're reaching beyond that left foot. Feeling that right side of the body lengthen for three, for two, on one, slowly make your way back through center, reach both of the fingertips up to the sky, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, start to hinge forward, keeping the spine nice and long, and eventually just settling into your wide-legged forward fold. Once you've found all the length in the spine that you can find, you might start to round forward through the head, neck, and shoulders tucking the chin to the chest, releasing any tension in the back of the neck and the shoulders. Stay here for your next inhale and exhale. And then slowly make your way up to a seated position. Face the front of the mat if you're not already doing so. Bring the soles of the feet down to the ground. Reach the arms out in front of you and slowly lower onto the back. When you come onto your back, make sure your heels are close enough that you can just barely graze them with your fingertips. You don't want them too close. Press down into the palms, press down into the heels and take an inhale to lift the hips up to the sky for your bridge pose. Holding here for five, four, three, two, on one, lower down, take a breath. And we go up one more time, taking an inhale, lifting the hips, maybe this time shimmying the shoulders together, interlacing the hands underneath you, coming up just an inch or two higher for five, four, three, two, on one, slowly lower down. When your lower back arrives back on the mat, take the feet out wide and let the knees come in together and feel the low back release. And when you're ready, just take the legs out long, the arms out long, transition to your Shavasana. 
for this final minute of rest, not worrying about anything that came before this or anything that will come after this, just being present with your breath in your rest. begin to invite deeper breaths back into the body. Long inhales and even longer exhales. When you're ready, bring your arms long behind you, extending through the toes and the fingertips, rolling onto your right or left side just to transition briefly into the fetal position and eventually up into your seated position. Taking one final breath together, bring your hands to heart center, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, let me know how it went, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at calmwithcarlin and I'll see you next time. Namaste.